It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Carolina Panthers and the Washington Commanders. Next on Madden NFL 25. We are just east of the U.S. Capitol, about eight miles or so at the home of the Commander, Northwest Stadium in Landover. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Matchup of a couple of teams, Greg, with one big thing in common. A new head coach from a season ago. These are always the seasons we want to see how they play out how they can implement their plan going in. And more often than not, Mike, as we all know, when you find yourself in position to make a coaching change, it's because the previous few seasons did not go according to plan. So the question is, did they find the right new head coach to lead them in this next era for their organization? These two teams today are hoping that this goes a long way into deciding, do they have the right guy pulling the strings? Because if you do, if you have a head coach and a quarterback, you can win for a long time in this league. Is Eddie Pinheiro to get this one started. And off we go from Northwest Stadium. And their drive will begin at the 30 yard line. The Commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Quarterbacks like him are just so hard to defend, Mike, because not only can they beat you with their arm and their ability to process and spread the ball out to the other playmakers, but it's their ability to hurt you when things break down. It's just hard to defend plan B, plan C. You might defend plan A really well, but man, I'll tell you, you just can't simulate his speed in practice. You can't simulate his ability to make guys miss and extend plays. And when that coverage breaks down, or that defensive front doesn't get home, he can make you pay in a lot of different ways. You could see the quarterback, once he got the snap, he was looking for any seam, any daylight, but nothing materialized, and he's fortunate he got back to the line of scrimmage. The throw here is complete. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. You see the first out pick up there by Luke McCaffrey, and certainly a name a lot of nfl fans are going to recognize obviously the son of ed mccaffrey the brother of christian and his ability to really work in traffic make difficult contested catches he's going to have to earn some of these opportunities he had 11 games with at least one receiving touchdown that led all college football last year at Rice. I think this is a young player that's going to surprise a lot of people and maybe surpass some expectations some of the folks on the outside maybe have placed on him Second down and three. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. These were the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup, and... I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. And we'll get it up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. They'll go play action here with Daniels. And he went through that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. On third down, they'll throw with Daniels. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. On 
the move at the 14-yard line. It's first and 10. They send him right out of the slot. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And not much there. Down to about the 13. Here's a second and nine. They'll go again with Robinson. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Just watch the speed of the pursuit out of this safety on this tackle, Mike. His ability to play from depth and attack the line of scrimmage and meet that ball carrier in the hole and keep him to no gain. You don't see a lot of safeties able to make that tackle in the open field. That's pretty impressive. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. Terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Austin Seibert now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Commanders will take a 7-0 lead. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. Raheem Blackshear on the return. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Panthers now ready to get to work on offense for the first time. They are led out by the veteran. The one they call the Red Rifle. Dating back to his old days at TCU. It's Andy Dalton. The man known around the league as the Red Rifle. And what an NFL career he's had up until this point, Mike. I mean, think back. At one point, he's the Pro Bowl quarterback routinely leading his team to the playoffs. Now, he's the experienced backup. He's bringing a lot of veteran presence to every locker room he finds himself. And one thing's for certain. When he gets a shot to play in the game, you could certainly do a lot worse than having him in your starting line. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. An even 20 yards impressive start to this drop. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first, and what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Get a little positive energy into that huddle, and what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. They'll run here. The former Canadian track star, Chuba Hubbard, will take it. And he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. They get 22 yards there. It's good for a Panther first down. I think it's clear this is something this offense wants to major in, the ability to run the ball effectively against this defense. And after that big game, you have to imagine they're going to come back to it and dare them to stop it. Set to go now on first and 10. Dalton. Open man is Johnson. He's got him. They'll get about four here as he is taken down. On 
to give. It's Hubbard. And he's down at the three. What a run. Sometimes all it takes is that one key block to spring this back. He's just so good in open space. And, man, that was a heck of a run, and it sets up first and goal. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Chuba Hubbard. Touchdown, Panthers. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game, and you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score on the opening possession, and they're able now to go out and square it on up. Allows you to take a deep breath, maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop, and they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. On now, Eddie Pinheiro for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Panthers come right back to tie it at seven. Team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 seven, seven as they kick it off. On the return, Noah Igbenogany. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The commander's offense ready to possess the football for the second time. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. Daniels that one complete to Brian Robinson following the completion we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player athletic training staff looking at him so we'll step aside Second down and eight. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. That's into the hands of Zacchaeus. Get about six before he's taken down. Here's third and two. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. Now move the sticks. First down. Up to the four. They'll throw with Daniel. They'll come up now for second down and four. Play action. Here's Daniels. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. That one broken up. It's incomplete. All over him down the field. It'll set up third down. You know, Mike, there's the saying in the NFL, take what the defense gives you. 
But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to force a ball downfield. Show the defense you are willing to take big shots. Even though they weren't able to connect, it's going to have an impact the rest of the game. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one, good for 12. And the first down. Jaden Daniels, you look at his time at LSU, Mike, and he certainly had great wide receivers to throw to. But now being a rookie quarterback and having the veteran presence of a guy like Terry McLaurin, that is such a comfort for any young quarterback getting his feet under him in this league. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. The air again is Daniel. Now they'll set up the screen to Eckler. And they'll bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30 yard line. The relationship between the back and the offensive lineman is now the key for the run after catch. You want to make sure those linemen don't get too far down the field where they can't help protect the back. So once the running back catches it, there's a go go call. Now everyone knows it's time to go downfield. The running back falls in behind him, and that's the landmark of the screenplay. That's a short one caught by Sinnott. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. the play fake. Here's Daniels. Inside the tap, it is caught. And he'll be taken down. This is a great example, Mike, of just how effective it is when you're efficient on early downs throwing the ball. I mean, when you can pick up first downs without getting the third down, as the game unfolds, things just get easier and easier. Take what the defense is giving you. Don't force the ball downfield. And when you can stay ahead of the chains without having to get to third and have it plays, that's when an offense is really firing. Keep it in the air. Here's Daniels. This one caught at the four. Inside the five, it is second and goal. Daniels going to throw again. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. And he might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Third and goal, it's Daniel. And he gets it wide. He'll go to the end zone. Jaden Daniel. Touchdown, Washington. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. Seibert out now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Commanders will move out to a 14-7 to lead. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. This taken at the five. 
terrific return. He's taken down to shy of midfield. The Panthers' offense ready to take over for their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. The motion map is Johnson. Dalton to throw. Catch is made. That's Mingo. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Now it's Dalton. That's right side, taken in by Tremble. And they will finally catch up to him and get him down. We see so many wide receivers in today's NFL that almost resemble more of a running back style. When they get the ball in their hands, not only are they able to pick up big yards, they're able to fight through tackles and make people miss. That's an element that a lot of offenses are searching for. It takes a lot of pressure off the quarterback. So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and goal now from just inside the 10-yard line. They'll run with Hubbard. Marked down at the six. So we'll get a second and goal when we return. It's the Commanders with the early lead. And EA Sports NFL Sunday returns after this. They need six for the touchdown. Second and goal. Throwing Dalton. And that's going to line up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. Third and goal. To throw is Dalton. And that is incomplete. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. You know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete, brings up fourth down. Pinheiro's kick is good. And the Panthers are back within four at 14 to 10. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. So Pinheiro had the field goal a moment ago. Now he's back out to kick it away. Returning is Igbenogany. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. Philippe sits at four. So he'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Daniel. Quick throw here is complete. Just take what the defense is giving you. And you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath hitch routes, quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Throwing on second down. Daniel. 
foot. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one-on-one, -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And if he plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. Give him 15 more on that one. They are on the move. It's a first down. We've seen this trend throughout the league, Mike. Offensively, everyone wants to have depth at the running back position. Yeah, it's great to have one guy, but if you could have two or three that could all come in and contribute on the ground, nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. Now, following that sack, we have a player who was injured. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. Down the field, it's caught on that left sideline. And will move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. On the give, it's Robinson. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. From the gun, it's Daniels. He'll try and get there on the ground. The defenders knew a pass was coming. They had their ears pinned back here on third down, but they initially allowed him to escape the pocket and make a break for it, but give him credit. They recognized the scramble quickly, rallied to the ball, stopped him short of the first down. So it's fourth down and Austin Seibert out to try the Washington field goal. This from 30 yards out. Seibert's kick is good. And the Commanders will open up a touchdown lead. It's now 17 to 10. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? So here's Cypher. Made the field goal a moment ago. And now we'll kick this one away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Panthers offense and their back Chuba Hubbard set to come back on the field. They find themselves trailing 17 to 10 now as they come up with first down and 10. This drive begins with a run by Hubbard. 
and he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. That's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. He's going to tuck it and go. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Dalton. He's got his man complete to Johnson. A pickup of 12 yards. It's a Carolina first down. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. Come to the line now on second and two. They'll send him over to the left. Now Dalton. That's to the rookie from South Carolina, Xavier Leggett. Here's first and ten. On the give, it's Hubbard. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. That one taken in right side by Lee Gett. That's the second time they connect on this drive. This one good for 13 yards. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. And he's into the end zone. Deontay Johnson cuts down Carolina. You know, there's so many key factors that allow a play like this, Mike, to have so much success. And, of course, like anything, it starts with the quarterback being accurate. It's such a big part of NFL football right now is the run after the catch. But the accuracy of the ball allows the receiver to turn into a runner after securing the catch. So great job there by the quarterback. And then sometimes it's just a foot race to the pylon and speed kills. And wide receiver gets the ball, secures it, and he does the rest. Extra point by Pinheiro is good. Panthers will come back to tie things at 17. Returning is Igbenogany. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Here comes the number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels, with the rest of the commander's offense. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The 
drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. The motion man here is McClure. Another run here for Robinson. And he'll have enough to move the chains. He'll take this forward for about three yards. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. To throw is Daniels on first and ten. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pick up of five and sets up second and five. That's not enough for the first down. They don't need much. It is third and inches. They'll run it here with Robinson. And he'll get to the 48. That's going to be good enough. He'll pick up a first down. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. They'll come up here first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pick up of five and sets up second and five. First and ten, here's Daniel. Off balance throw, it's complete. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. And these are the throws that when they evaluate young quarterbacks coming out of college, they want to see you be able to make. Everyone worries about how far you can throw the ball. And while that's certainly important, to be able to make the throws from sideline to sideline, especially in those intermediate zones, Drive the ball through space. He got all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. Clowney comes up with the big sack, and you can make an argument, Mike, that he's coming off his best season of his career. Nine and a half sacks just a year ago. Now he's back home in the Carolinas where he's already making his presence felt. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. They'll throw with Daniels. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's hard to play that ball any better than the way that defender did right there. I mean, to stay patient throughout the entire play and make sure that not only are you in prime position to make it, but that once the ball is there, attack it, knock it down, and save a touchdown. Third and long, and here's Daniels. He'll get that to Zacchaeus. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker.
Here's Austin Seibert now to try the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Commanders move out in front 20 to 17. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So, here's Cyber. Made the field goal a moment ago. And now we'll kick this one away. Here comes a return from the five. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Panthers offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. Dalton. They're set up the screen here to Hubbard. And they're going to mark him down up past the 35. Now a timeout for Carolina. That's going to be their second. They get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to play in this first half. So from the 36, it is first and 10. to throw. Next to the left side. Hauled in by Leggett. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. A good spot here. Second and a yard. Dalton to throw. Hit as he threw it, the pass is incomplete. All these defensive linemen, I promise you, they all want sacks. That is how you get paid. That is how you make your name. But it's also the other plays where you can affect the quarterback. Can you make them feel uncomfortable? Or in this case, you don't get the sack, but it was the hit that's able to alter the pass to fall incomplete. Who try and throw for it on third and one. And that is incomplete. So the hope is your one-third down conversion from really jump-starting a possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. On fourth down, the longtime special teams ace, Johnny Hecker, on to punt. Alameda Zacchaeus, deep to return. No return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The commander's offense and Jaden Daniels ready to take over once more. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to them with another drive here. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. To throw is Daniels. That's out to Brown, right side, complete. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath, and they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big one. One final throw before the break, and that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. What a treat to watch the rookie in that first half. The number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. This one's been as good as advertised. 
Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I expect to see more of the same after the break. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Three points, all that separates these two sides as half number two kicks off. This returnable from the four. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. The Panthers offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They'll start it here with a first and ten. quickly he'll pick up about three they face second down and seven they'll motion the tight end Thomas a quick throw here on the RPO it's caught by Johnson They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Throwing Dalton. Now he'll air one out. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. There's only a handful of guys in the league who legitimately have world-class speed and He's one of them. I mean, he's the type of weapon that you three or four times a game have to just say, okay, my guy, he's faster than your guy. We're going to send him deep and let it fly. And even though that one falls incomplete, you have to continue to sprinkle that threat in because it makes everything else in your passing game that much easier. The commander's offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. Zone read. Daniel's going to hang on to it. And he'll manage only the 34 yard line. He's brought down after a short game. They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. Daniels to throw on second down. Nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. We tend to make NFL offense very complicated, Mike, but sometimes it's as simple as this. Get the ball into the hands of your playmakers and just let them do the rest. Third and a yard. That's into the hands of Zacchaeus. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, is they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. Here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten.
to throw is Dalton. That's right side, taken in by Tremble. And we'll mark him down just shy of the 40. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. Change the look pre-snap to post-snap. Mix in zone, mix in man. They've got to make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward. So, from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Now Hubbard. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. They'll go again with Hubbard. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Straight ahead, it's Sanders. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Really nice job by the interior of this offensive line. It typically just takes one guy to distort the defense to give the back enough room to operate. And that's exactly what they did here, and it led to a big game. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten. There's a handoff to Hubbard. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. first down these crossing concepts are frequently used Mike throughout the entire game all across the league and what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs you run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch and exactly how they're able to pick up this big game now Dalton open man is Johnson he's got him. and he's brought down after a game of six on first down. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike, and what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells, so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook, and so far they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. Goes without saying, like, you have to be smart with the ball, especially down here in the red zone. You're already in scoring position. I understand they're trying to come away with a touchdown, but at the very least, come away with three. The worst case scenario is you turn the ball over and you come away with nothing. They'll throw here on third and short guard. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The pass protection's been a little bit shaky at times, and that was the case there. And even though they're not going to go down for allowing a sack, it was allowing the pressure that ultimately prevented that pass from being complete. Eddie Pinheiro going to come on to try a field goal now. This, about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Panthers will tie the game here in the third quarter. 
So touchdowns are always the primary goal of every drive. But when you find yourself down three here in the second half, you've just got to find a way to tie the game up. And they were able to do that here. Field goal ties things up, and we're back at it as this kicks away. Austin Eckler now to return. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The commander's offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll begin with first and 10. start on the ground with Robinson that one never got started too much defensive pressure they dropped him in the backfield you have to wonder if next time does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play it was clear before the ball was snapped this was not a great look for that play call and you can see the end result on play action Daniels going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. This has been a tough sequence right out of the jump. You work all week on your opening script, and they're usually the plays that you feel the best about to try to establish some sort of early rhythm, but through two plays, run and pass, all they've done is go backwards. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Daniels now going to look to throw. Now they'll set up the screen to Eckler. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. Blackshear to return. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The visitors offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. First and ten. Back to throw here to begin the drop. It's caught Mingo with the grab. They'll come up here on second down and five. We're going to run right over center with Hubbard. He'll take this down to the 47. Deron Payne there for the stop. They'll throw here on third and short. game there of 10 yards it's a Carolina first down this is what they call an angle route and what's so hard for these linebackers is it looks like the running back is just trying to beat you to the flat and then once you overcommit, he puts his foot down and crosses your face and he's wide open in the middle of the field throwing now on first and 10 Short one there, caught by Tremble. Give him 15 more on that one. They are on the move. It's a first down. 
Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. That one taken in right side by Lee Gett. And he's going to be taken down. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. Here's Dalton. This one caught at the floor. He is in. Deontay Johnson. Touchdown, Panthers. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. It just feels like a big drive, doesn't it, Mike? Here in the second half, you got a tie ball game. Now you're able to get out in front. Let's see how this other team responds having to play from behind. We got a ton of time, Greg, but a little momentum feel. Come out of the locker room, take the lead. Now it's up to the other team to climb uphill. So great way, perfect way to get this second half started. Extra point by Pinheiro is good. And the Panthers will go up by seven. So now, after the touchdown, Pinheiro out to kick it away. Here's Eckler on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The home team's offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. And a good job following his blockers, a gain of seven. It'll be second down. Throwing that, Daniel. He's got his tight end, there's Hurts. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. Taking off. And Daniels will have the first down as he's able to slide and avoid the contact. So, three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now Daniels. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. It's a short one caught by Sinnott. 
And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. First and ten, here's Daniels. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They need one right now. Third and long. And that is incomplete. Terry McLaurin, the intended target on that one. And it's going to bring up fourth down. A little miscommunication there. Now brings up third down. It just doesn't appear that the quarterback and the wide receiver were on the same page on that last pass. So a big spot for Austin Cyber. This to get the deficit down inside of a touchdown. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. So here's Seibert, made the field goal a moment ago, and now we'll kick this one away. This will be returned from the six. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The visitors' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. The motion man is Sanders. Get this drive started on the ground. It's Hubbard. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. Fourth quarter, you find yourself protecting a one-possession lead. It's a fine line, Mike, between do I keep the ball on the ground, continue to work the clock, or stay aggressive, try to extend this lead to a multiple-possession game. That's the balance this play caller is dealing with right now. On first down, it's right back to Hubbard. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. The motion man is Johnson. Throwing Dalton. Looking left side is tight end Tremble. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free. He gains nothing. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Dalton to throw. Forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. 
When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. That's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The home team's offense ready to get back at it. They trail by four, a touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Stick to the ground. And he'll work forward to about three. It's second down. the shotgun on third down. Daniel. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback? You find yourself down here late in the fourth quarter, Mike, facing a tough third down. You've got to have it. But you know what? He calls the play, he breaks the huddle. He's like, you know what, coach? I got it. That's a big-time throw to now keep this drive alive as they go down looking for that go-ahead touchdown. Now pass deep from McLaurin. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. Big time play there as they try to cut into this fourth quarter deficit. At this point in the game, Mike, remember, you're just going to get a couple more possessions, so you have to make the most of them, especially with the lead being this close for the taking. So, here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. They'll go play action here with Daniel. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it will fall to the ground. It's incomplete. Luke McCaffrey, the intended receiver. And that will lead to a second down. Four yards out of that one. Lane closed quickly. And here comes third down. Ben in motion is Brown. They'll keep it on the ground. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Wow, a little change in play call here, and that's typically not what we see at this down and distance. That's typically a passing down, Mike, but they catch the defense off guard, keep the ball on the ground, and they're able to pick up enough for the first down. They'll run with Robinson. He slowed up quickly as he gets this down to the six. Second and goal. To throw is Daniels. That is caught. Hard running close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him just short. For the lead, here is third and goal. 
Now this is going to be a design run. They let him keep it. And he will take it in himself. Jaden Daniels. Touchdown, Commander. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go. And that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike. And now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? Cybertech's the point is true. And the Commanders go up by a field goal as they lead it by three. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. On the return, here comes Blackshear. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The visitors offense and their running back set to go once more. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Now it's Dalton. Back into the hands of Hubbard. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Man, he fit that one in a tight window. One thing he showed off was his arm strength and his accuracy, but in the grand scheme of things, it didn't really amount to much. Second and a yard. They'll run here. Pass midfield to the 45. And they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. But I'll tell you what, you can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. Now Dalton. This one to the tight end, Tremble. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. To throw is Dalton. Under pressure and down he goes. They go. Certainly hasn't been their best game in terms of rushing the passer, but you find yourself with the lead here in the fourth quarter. No better time for that pass rush to come alive and see if they can close this game out. The crowd cranking it up another notch before third and long. Tremble comes in motion. Dalton. remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Here we go. This is fourth down. They'll drop to throw. This one deep downfield for Mingo. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. And this offense is now really on the move, Mike, and it's the passing game that's leading the way. They've been able to march their way downfield thanks to this aerial attack, so don't expect them to go to the ground game anytime soon. 
If I'm this play caller, I'm continuing to lead on this, not only in this drive, but probably for the rest of this game. Here is first and goal. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. That's called in at the two. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. From the one, second and goal. They'll look to throw. They set up the screen here to Hubbard. And this one's blown up. It's back at the five-yard line now. This crowd doing everything they can before third and goal. Here's Dalton. And this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Greg, that looked easy. We often talk about how condensed the space is down here in the red zone, but he got wide open that time. I think any time you see a guy that wide open, Mike, it comes down to not everybody in the secondary doing their job. Maybe someone's trying to do a little bit too much, and it backfires. You have to understand, what is my role within the coverage? Just focus on that, because when you don't, it leads to coverage breakdowns, and they don't get a lot easier than that one. might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. This is first and ten. Here's Daniel. Our throw here, right side. Falls incomplete. They'll come up now for second down. Throwing now, Daniel. Oh, he can't get rid of it, and he's taken down. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. Going to need a big play now. Third down and long. Sets up fourth down. This is teach tape for man defense, Mike. I mean, he is not looking back at the quarterback at all. He is in the hip pocket of his receiver. He's staying in phase and in rhythm. And then he knows when the wide receiver's hands go up, attack the ball. And that's about as good. I had to take a chance on fourth down, and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Horn. I think he chalked this one up, Mike, to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is how fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again. Set to go now on first and ten. 
Victory formation, defense powerless to stop. And that should just about do it. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Down to a knee, one more time. And that should just about do it. Now a timeout here by Washington. That is their second. The last two runs each lost a yard. Now they're looking at a third and 12. Down to a knee one more time. And that should just about do it. So this one a win for the visiting Panthers. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That is the difference in this one.